Aggies are in the spotlight and not in a good way. It all has to do with a tweet that went out last night from their receivers coach Aaron Moorhead. Yeah, that message talked about loyalty and was in response to quarterback Tate Martell decommitting with the school and wanting to reopen his recruitment status. Channel 2's Adam Wexler joining us live from College Station tonight with more on this. Adam? Yeah, Bill and Sarah, one simple tweet from a quarterback who had committed to the Aggie football program, wanted to reopen that recruiting process, like you said, set off this coach on a Twitter rant, and that's opened up a bigger firestorm of problems for this Aggie football program. Late last night, Tate Martell, the top quarterback recruit in the country, tweeted he was reopening his recruitment. That meant he was decommitting from Texas A&M. Just minutes later, Aggies wide receivers coach Aaron Moorhead hit Twitter with a stream of tweets talking about lack of loyalty and trust, and that did even further damage to the program when two receivers followed Tate out the door. Kind of the coach's reaction took a big toll on the program, but with losing three recruits now, and so... Uh, yeah, I think, I think it'll be kind of hard to recover from that next year. When I got here, Tony Manziel was here, and uh, NM football was really exciting, and now I'm seeing things start to fall apart. Head coach Kevin Sumlin, who was in Houston last night at the Touchdown Club's 50th anniversary dinner, responding to the social media storm today. I've addressed it with, with, with Aaron, um, and we're still working through that, but uh, he's taking responsibility for his actions, and... Uh, um, and then we'll move on from there. Moorhead hit Twitter again this morning to tweet his apology to recruits, Coach Sumlin, and the Aggie family. But the bigger issue now is this Martell exit comes on the heels of two top quarterbacks saying goodbye to Texas A&M following this past season. And really, that's part of the story as well. Kyle Allen, Kyler Murray, and now Tate Martell. Things clearly trending in the wrong direction for Coach Sumlin. After he won 11 games in his first season here at Texas A&M, one of the receivers that followed Martell out the door plays for Crosby High School. We'll have more on his decision to head away from Texas A&M coming up in sports at 6 o'clock. Adam Wexler in College Station, KPRC, Channel 2 Sports.